course, the day that I'm filming my hair care routine, I'm not having the best hair day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sam. I am a professional hairstylist, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my hair care routine. I've been getting requested to do this for a while now, and honestly, I was editing my birthday vlog recently, and I was like, oh, wow, my hair really got super long, and it looks really full and healthy, and this is honestly like the nicest that my natural hair has ever been without having extensions in it. So I'm just going to go through my entire routine, everything that I do on my hair, and share a ton of product recommendations with you. The first thing that I want to mention is if you are trying to keep your hair looking nice and healthy and full and you want it to grow, you need to get it trimmed every so often, especially if you are regularly putting heat on it or if you're coloring it. So I trim my hair, I would say like maybe once every other month. But yeah, trimming those dead ends is really important to keeping your hair looking nice and healthy. And the type of haircut that I do is I have it all cut bluntly from the front so that when my hair is all behind my head. I have like a very slight V in the back, but then when it's all pulled to the front, it all looks like it's one length and it's nice and blunt so that it makes it look a lot fuller. And I do have some layers in my hair, which also add volume whenever I have waves or curls in my hair, but I keep all of the layers in the front and just in the top section of my hair. I don't blend them all the way down to the bottom because that's gonna make the ends look a little bit thinner. And I don't have the thickest hair in the world, so anything I can do to make my hair look as full as possible is what I like to do. So I only wash my hair mm, two times a week max. I try to stretch it as long as possible. Washing your hair isn't necessarily bad, but if you color your hair, it will make your color fade faster and it can dry it out a little bit. Plus, if you're someone that styles your hair with heat every single time you wash it, the more often you wash it, obviously the more heat you're applying to it. So the less often you can wash it, the better, generally speaking. On the days when I am washing my hair, I have a few favorite shampoo and conditioners that I tend to kind of rotate. So once I finish a bottle of one, I will then switch to something else. I don't like to typically keep using the same thing over and over because I just get bored with it. So I was using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner for a while still love that stuff i'll probably go back to that next and then i was using the joy coat k-pack color therapy shampoo and conditioner love this stuff so much too and then recently i switched back to the sebastian dark oil shampoo and conditioner so those are the three that i've been keeping in rotation for the last couple of years Olaplex, Joyco, and the Sebastian Dark Oil. The things that they all have in common though is that they're all very nourishing and they're all color safe and for color treated hair. And they all smell amazing. So at the current moment, I am using the Sebastian Dark Oil. I always shampoo my hair two times. The first time, especially when you're using something that is color safe typically, you're not gonna get like a super soapy lather the first shampoo. So um, I always go in with two. I highly suggest that to everyone to really make sure you're getting your hair nice and clean. I always like to lather up the shampoo in my hands first, get it a little wet with water, and then focus it on the top of my head, my scalp, really get in there. And then I just kind of like let it run through the ends. So that's my normal go-to shampoo. And then I have a clarifying shampoo that I like to use. This is the Paul Mitchell Shampoo 2. I love this stuff so much. It works really well without leaving your hair feeling like really dry and stripped like some other clarifying shampoos can. If you don't currently have a clarifying shampoo in your shower, you need to get it. This is so good to do every so often. I would say for me, like I said, I wash my hair about two times a week. So I would clarify one to two times a month, depending. This is just really good to get any kind of buildup out of your hair. If you have highlights, it'll make your highlights and your blonde look a little bit brighter. Also, when you use a clarifying shampoo, it helps your hair really soak up and accept 
your conditioner or your mask or whatever it is that you're putting on your hair so on the days when I use this as my shampoo I won't use my regular shampoo and conditioner I will just do this two times and then I will follow it up with a hair mask so the mask that I've been using for about two years now this I like have not changed or swapped out for anything else I just keep repurchasing this baby because I love it so much this is the Joyco K-Pak hydrator intense treatment it's so good so after I clarify I will put this on my hair and leave it to sit for about five minutes so again I will do this process about one to two times a month my neighbors have a cat and it's out on their balcony and it was like sticking its body between the rails of the balcony it looked like it was about to jump down but it went back in okay Whew. I mean they're only on the second floor so I'm sure it would have been okay but like probably would have ran away okay so after I get out of the shower I will use my little hair towel thingamajig um this one in particular is by the brand Aquas but you can get these pretty much anywhere Sephora Ulta even Target um I have a few like cheaper ones that I got from Target but this is a like microfiber material so it's gentler and softer doesn't tug at your hair so I will wrap my hair up in this and just let it dry in this for as long as possible then I will take my hair out of the turban and brush through it with my Framar detangling brush this is similar to the wet brush it just has very flexible bristles so oh there's hair in it that just got caught in my ring that is kind of gross but yeah it doesn't tug on your hair it doesn't rip through any tangles it's a lot gentler so it doesn't create breakage I feel like a lot of people might not think about it or think it's a big deal but the brushes that you use on your hair are so important to the health of your hair especially if you're brushing your hair when it's wet when it's wet it's its most fragile state so you want to really be careful sometimes I'll even brush through my hair with this while I'm still in the shower while I have conditioner in my hair especially on the days when I want to wear my natural curls I will do that just so that way it's even gentler so on the days when I'm gonna blow out my hair I have my Dyson supersonic hair dryer I bought it over a year ago just to try it out for a video thinking that I was not gonna like it and I was gonna return it and then I ended up falling in love and keeping it and now this is all that I use to dry my hair I love it so much I think it's totally worth the money um, it's so much more gentle on my hair it's not killing it with heat it doesn't get as hot and it dries it super super fast because it's so powerful and it's drying it more so with airflow than with actual heat and I also have this nanothermic Olivia garden round brush this is really gentle on my hair and it gets it nice and smooth and then from there I will usually heat style I have the Dyson flat iron that's what I used to style my hair today love this thing again I purchased it to try it for a video thinking I wasn't gonna like it and I still have it and I still use it all the time I love it I can pass it through my hair and then touch that piece of hair immediately after and it's not burning hot it's crazy so I really feel like I've been able to cut back on heat damage a by not applying heat to my hair as often but b because when I am applying heat I'm using my Dyson tools usually this is not sponsored by the way I really just genuinely love them and I really feel like they have helped cut down the heat damage on my hair so I will usually use this or just like a regular one and a quarter inch barrel curling iron but regardless of whatever hot tool I use I always use the same products so I love the Kenra color maintenance thermal spray this is a medium hold hairspray and a heat protectant in one so I will spray this on each section of my hair before I go to curl it and not only is it giving me the heat protection but it's also giving me a little bit of hold too I find that spraying it with a little hairspray before you apply the heat it holds the style longer and then after I'm done styling my hair I will always apply the not your mother's beach babe texturizing dry shampoo like I said I only wash my hair one to two times a week so dry shampoo is a must for me in order to keep my hair looking 
somewhat nice and clean in between shampoos. So I love this stuff. It smells amazing. It adds nice texture and body to my hair. And then it also helps it not get greasy as much. I will always apply it to day one clean hair so that it prevents my hair from getting greasy as quickly. And then I will apply it throughout the week as needed. Um, I have an entire video all about dry shampoo and my techniques and tips and tricks and all that. Um, best practices. So I will link that in the description. And then lastly, I like to apply some kind of oil to my hair just to nourish it, smooth it down, make it look nice and shiny. I really like the Olaplex number seven. That's the oil, right? Yes, number seven. I was using that for a while, but before I even started using the Olaplex, the Sebastian Dark Oil, this is my OG. I first discovered this when I was in beauty school and I was obsessed with it and I just recently repurchased it because I just missed it. I love it so much. It feels so good on your hair. It's really reparative and it smells amazing. And I feel like you can't overdo it. Like it, your hair just really like soaks it all up without getting greasy and looking like really heavy and weighed down. And it is from the same line as the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using. It's a little pricey, but I think well worth it. So I'll just put a couple pumps of this in my hands, rub it together, and then just work it through the mids and ends of my hair. And then anything that's kind of left over, I'll just smooth down any little flyaways up top. That is everything that I do for my hair, everything that I use. If you guys would like to see a video on my curly hair routine when I'm wearing my natural curls, I can show you like the styling products and how I do that. But as far as just like, you know, how I care for my hair and things that I use that I feel like, you know, get it looking nice and keeping it healthy and all that. That is everything. I will have links to everything that I mentioned in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. Any video requests, comment down below, let me know. That's gonna be it for me though. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.